I had a friend called Harry Nielsen. And I loved him very much. And in fact, we used to do drugs together. <laughs> tons and tons and tons of drugs. And in the 60s, too. Doesn't get much cooler than that, babe. <laughs> and of course, when I say drugs, by the way, I don't mean these modern airy fairy things at all. I'm talking about real drugs, narcotics. And um, we saw each other occasionally, had a lot of fun. Time passed, and I finally realized, I, well, I don't know if I even realized, but I just had to stop because I was going to die. And of course, we're all going to die, we know that. But um, I didn't want to die like that, so. Mm -mm. So I went away to this place in America, very good place, I highly recommend it. <laughs> and there I began for the first time in my life, actually, to, to even think about the concept that I might be able to live without drugs. And it was very difficult at first. And I stayed there for quite a long time, uh, about four months, I think. And then I left and went off, although I didn't really know it, to start what was to be my next great adventure, which was learning to live without drugs. And it was very, very difficult. First, I, I went, um, in fact, to Boston, and, and for no real reason, but it was a very good place to be. Like, Montreal was a very good place to be at that time, too. You know, I made really good friends, and I, I found what I needed, and I got a very good shrink, too, which is always a help. And um, so I, was, I wasn't doing anything, really. I was just sort of putting... If I could manage to do the washing up and not use drugs, it was a big day. <laughs> Occasionally, I'd get a call from, from Harry. He lived in Los Angeles. All my friends, of course, were very curious to see how I would manage, what would happen. I didn't really take much notice. Um, but Harry would check in now and again, you know, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> All that. Um, and then, after the first year, it did begin to get a little better. And uh, one day he called me, Harry, and said, I've had enough. I can't go on anymore. I don't want to. I'm going to stop and I'm just going to go to meetings here and do that. And, and he had very good friends. And he did. He didn't have to go to no place neither. And um, when Harry stopped using drugs, he had some very bad luck. I don't mean to imply that when you stop using drugs, you have bad luck. That's not what I'm saying. But he did. The first thing that happened was that uh, his accountant went south, which is, is, you know, is American, you know. He means the man with all your money fucks off to the Bahamas with the lot. <laughs> yeah, that's what it means. And if that happened to me, I might well get high, I can tell you. But Harry did not. He got through it like a true stoic and great musician and great man that he was. And then his teeth went wrong, which always happens when you get clean and sober, doesn't it, Paul? <laughs> there you are, going to the dentist endlessly. Ugh. So Harry was doing that. And now it, I'm sad to tell you, really, that um, it was in the dentist chair, under general anaesthetic, actually, whilst having root canal work, that my friend, my dear friend, Harry Nielsen, died. And so they took his body to a funeral parlor in the valley in L.A., laid it out, do whatever you do, and the funeral was the next morning, at, was to be the next morning at 10 o'clock. That night, the great Los Angeles earthquake happened. And Harry's body in the coffin fell down a crack in the earth 
and was not seen again. Now, you might be asking yourselves right now, why is she telling us this long and macabre story about her dear friend, Harry Nielsen, who she says she loved so much? Well, I'll tell you. What I wanted to do, what I think we have done, and we can only do it by talking about him, is conjure him up. There he is. Here's your Remy Martin, darling. I'd give you a line of coke if I had one, but I haven't. <laughs> and what this means is that I can sing one of my favourites of Harry's songs for you and also for Harry. Keep your feet warm Keep your clothes on And don't forget me Keep the memory But keep your powder dry too In the summer, by the poolside While the fireflies are all around me I'll miss you when I'm lonely I'll miss the alimony too Don't forget me Please don't forget me Make it easy on me Just for a little while You know I think about you Let me know you think about me too When we're older and full of cancer It doesn't matter now Come on, get happy Cause nothing lasts forever But I will always love you Don't forget me Please don't forget me Make it easy on me Just for a little while You know I think about you Let me know you think about me too You know I think about you Let me know you think about me too oh,
Thank you. Harry says thank you as well. He's very pleased. And the accountant was caught. Yeah, really. We found out when we were in New York, like, like a month ago. The accountant was caught and brought to justice, and Una and the children have the money back. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I never think things like that will happen. I always think the worst will happen. But in fact, sometimes, no. I had just turned 16 that season When you came up from Burma to stay And you told me I ought to travel with you You were sure it would be okay When I asked how you earned your living I can still hear what you said to me You had some kind of job on the railway And had nothing to do with the sea You said a lot, Johnny All one big lie Johnny, you cheated me blind, Johnny, from the minute we met. I hate you so, Johnny, when you stand there grinning, Johnny. Take that damn pipe out of your mouth, you rat. Surabaya, Johnny. No one's meaner than you Surabaya Jai My God And I still love you so Surabaya Jai Oh, I my feeling so blue You have no heart, Johnny and I still love you so At the start, every day was Sunday Till we went on our way one fine night And before two more weeks were over You thought nothing I did was right So we trekked up and down through the Punjab From the source of the river to the sea When I look at my face in the mirror there's an old woman staring back at me You didn't want love, Johnny You wanted cash, Johnny But I saw your lips, Johnny And that was that You wanted it all, Johnny I gave you more, Johnny That damn pipe out of your mouth, you rat. Surabaya Johnny, no one's meaner than you. Surabaya Johnny, my God. And I still love you so Surabaya John Why am I feeling so blue You have no heart, John And I still love you so I would never have thought of asking how you got that peculiar name But from one end of the coast to the other You were known everywhere we came And one day in a two-bit flop house I'll wake up to the roar of the sea And you'll leave without one word of warning On a ship waiting down at the quay You have no heart, Johnny You're just a louse, Johnny how could you go, Johnny, and leave me flat? You're still my love, Johnny, like the day we met, Johnny. Take that damn pipe out of your mouth, you rat. So no one's meaner than you. Suraba.
by a John My God, and I still love you so Surabaya John Why am I feeling so blue You have no heart, Johnny And I still love you so Come to this good ending Happily all hands unite And with money in your pocket You can clean up Price is right There are some who dwell in darkness There are others bathed in light You can see those who are shining Those in darkness pass from sight You can see those who are shining Those in darkness pass from sight. Settle down, talk among yourselves, order a drink, smoke a spliff, do whatever you want. Um, oh God, that'll be misconstrued. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, this is really the very end of an 11 and a half months tour that Paul and I have done all around the world. We end here at the Montreal Jazz Festival. We wanted to really go out on a, you know, in a bit of style. But we really have been everywhere, haven't we, Paul? Everywhere. And um, last year, I, we'd gone all around Australia, and the famous incident with the leaving Europe and all that stuff. And, uh, and they were great. 
they were really great. And we had a wonderful time. But then we had to take the famous killer flight from Melbourne to London, 24 hours without a cigarette. <laughs> Not so good, huh? No. And when we got off the plane in London, we were, we were quite sort of... Well, I was, anyway. I can only speak for myself, of course. But I, I, I was quite spaced out. And um, we were meant to have a, a rest. We were meant to have a 24-hour break. And then go. And we didn't get that. We had to go and do a stupid television show in Germany instead. And then, of course, we had to play. And we, it was the Hamburg Schauspielhaus, which is incredibly grand and a great honour. I'm very, very fond of Hamburg. All those kind of seaports, you know. And um, I was, I must have been, I don't know what. I've thought and thought, but I can't really figure it out. Only that the stage, instead of being like this, it did curve in, which is a little weird, but there we are. Anyway, I bounded out on the stage, very excited, as usual. Oh, I used to bound. I don't bound so much now. <laughs> Singing the Alabama song, looking at the moon, you know. And of course, you know, there are no rules really about performing, I don't think. None. But there is just one really important rule, which is don't fall off stage. <laughs> so, of course I did. I fell off stage, I landed in front of the front row and really hurt myself. But, um, you know, what can you do? I'd been, I'd been brought up by my mum. And uh, she was a dancer in Berlin in the 30s, and you didn't stop, you know, you just didn't stop, unless there was blood pouring out of every vein, sort of bones sticking out, you just don't stop. So uh, we went back to the dressing room, there was a, there was a little sort of, ascer what is it, when you ascertain something, yeah. So, and the doctor was there, and nothing, we didn't see, I mean, it was just a lot of pain, but nothing terrible. So I went back out. And Paul and I really love Noel Card. And we had been working up this song. We wanted to use it as an encore one day. It wasn't quite ready, but it was nearly ready, you know. And I couldn't face the Alabama song again. I just couldn't. <laughs> so I thought, well, I don't know. They might laugh. And they did. And now you'll see why. Life is very rough and tumble For a humble deserts One can betray one's troubles Never, whatever occurs Though I never really grumble Life's a jumble indeed and in my efforts to succeed I've had to formulate a creed I believe in doing what I can In crying when I must In laughing when I choose Hey ho If love were all I should be lonely I believe The more you love a man The more you give your trust the more you're bound to lose Although When shadows fall I think if only Somebody splendid really needed me Someone affectionate and dear Cares would be ended If I knew that he Wanted to have me 
near But I believe That since my life began The most I've had is just A talent to amuse Hey ho If love were all Frequently I put a bit by Safe for a rainy day Nobody here can say To what indeed the years are leading Though fate often treats me meanly I serenely pursue A little mirage in the blue Determination helps me through But I believe That since my life began The most I've had Is just a talent To amuse Hey ho Hey ho If love Oh Oh Faces I can see, but not for me. I sit and watch as tears go by. My riches can't buy everything. I want to hear the children sing. All I hear is the sound of rain falling on the ground I sit and watch as tears go by Da 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 Doing things I used to do They think are new I sit and watch As tears go by Thank you. 
What can I say? He's a walking away from what we've seen. What can I do? Still loving you, it's all a dream. How can we hang on to a dream? How can it really be the way it seems? What can I try? I still don't see why he says what he does. What can I do? Still loving you, it's all a dream. How can we hang on to a dream? How can it really be the way it seems? What can I say? He's a walking away from what we've seen. What can I do? Still loving you, it's all a dream. How can we hang on to a dream? How can it really be the way it seems? How can we hang on to a Thank you. Now, I will do one last song for you. And, and I'm going to dedicate it to my friend who's here tonight, Charles Coma. So, Charlie, for you, wherever you are, love is teasing. Oh, love is teasing and love is pleasing and love is a treasure when first it's new 
But as love grows older, sure love grows colder, and it fades away like the morning dew. There is an ale house in the town, and there, my love, he sits him down. He takes a strange girl on his knee, and he tells her things that he wants. Told me, for love and Potter make a young girl older, and love and whiskey make her old and grey. And what cannot be cured, love. Must be endured, love. And now I am bound for America. Oh, love is teasing, and love is pleasing, and love is a treasure. When first it's new, but as love grows older, sure love grows colder, and it fades away like the morning dew.